Okay, in this video, we will configure high availability between two NASCAR VPX device, NX1 and NX2. NX1 will be the primary and active one. NX2 will be the secondary or standby or passive one. So for that, I will move to my management machine. Right now, I'm connected to NS1, standby 10200. And right now, it's, you can see it's standalone. First thing I usually like to do, uh, just, just as a note, that I like to go to the settings and configure basic features. You don't have to do it right now. You may do it another video, but that's how what typically I do. First thing on a device that I enable features. Second. Just as a note, if you want to change the password for NS root, which is highly recommended, you can change it from here. And then you can add another user for yourself. It is recommended and I know that on both primary and secondary, NS root should have the same password. Um, you can have another admin accounts with different passwords from primary and secondary. No matter that's not a big deal or no problem, no problem at all. But it's better to NS root have the same password. So if, it's, if you want to change it, you can change it from here. As it's a lab environment, I will keep it to default, which is NSroot. But in practical environment, please don't forget to change NSroot password. And here I am on NS2, which is also licensed at the moment. And what I would like to do at the moment is go to high availability as you can see it's I would think it's a primary go to the edit and I would say stay secondary remain in listen mode because I would like I don't want this one to become master during this process at least for at the moment so say OK. Then I'll switch back to the primary one, which is NS1. And I would say stay primary. And I will enable this. OK. So NS1 will stay primary, and NS2 will stay second. This way, uh, of course, I would like to save the config. That's one thing I like to do. Okay. So now, once we do that, we save the configuration already. Okay, and go to add and create an actually node. Remote node IP address, that's the NS IP or NS or IP address. And as per our documentation, or okay, as per the lab, it's 201. So 201 and username, NS root, password, NS root, create. And I did add the second node, and it's still. Let's refresh and see what's happening. It's in the process of synchronizing state and success. This is good. This is really good. Now, once we have synced properly, now we can remove the security check. And what we can do just go back to property of NS1, it stays primary, it's already there, oh, sorry, NS1, and you can change from stay primary to enabled, which is actively participating in HA, and OK, and then go to 
NS2 here and the refresh. Added the NS2 properties and say enable. Active to participating in HA. OK. And here it is. NS2 secondary, NS1 distant and 200 is primary. If I switch to the prime DNS node, that's the case here. 10, 10, 10, 200 primary and 201 is secondary. And let's see if we're running configuration on NS2 as well. Okay, it's refreshed. All good. All good. We go to network and IPs. Submit IP and that. Nothing much we have at the moment. So, network and IPs. Similar sort of config. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's how you configure two NAT scalers in highly available configuration primary and secondary. Active standby, one is active, another one is passive. And both of them will have their own NAT scaler IP addresses. For management. Apart from that, everything will be synchronized from primary to secondary. Virtual IP addresses, subnet IP addresses, map IP addresses, routing table, everything will be synchronized. All the configuration from primary to secondary, except the net scalar IP, which both of them have their own or unique IPs. So this is it, guys. That's how you configure high availability for your net security device.